Suppose you have some experimental data and you need to determine the values of the dependent variable for values of the independent variable you haven't measured yet. For simple experiments, you can just go get more data, but for complicated and expensive experiments, this isn't always possible. You could try eyeballing it, but there's a better way using a process called interpolation. When you interpolate a data set, you create a function based on the data you've collected then use that function to estimate additional data points. In this series, we'll take a look at three types of interpolation, linear, Lagrange, and splines. Linear interpolation is the simplest form of interpolation. If you want to know the value of the dependent variable at a new value of the independent variable, you look for the two data points closest to your independent variable and set up a line between them. Remember, lines have a slope and an intercept which you can determine from these two values. Once you have the slope and intercept, you use the standard equation for a line, good old y equals mx plus b, to determine the independent variable at your desired location. In this code, which is available in a link in the description below, we've set up a linear interpolation function that takes in the value of x we're looking at and a list of data points that we've collected. First, we find which two data points in the list of data are located to the left and right of our x value. By the way, this means your data needs to be sorted in order of increasing x. Then we extract the values of x and y for those neighboring data points. Then we calculate the slope and intercept, and finally we calculate the value of y at location x using the usual line equation. Here's the data we're trying to interpolate. It comes from e to the negative x squared. And here's the result of our linear interpolation. It makes a line between each two data points. Linear interpolation is fast and easy, so it's useful for quick and rough applications, but it's not the most accurate method in the world. Look at how it completely misses the maximum of the function. And notice that there's a kink at each data point where the slope suddenly changes. Next time, we'll take a look at improving on this technique by using polynomials instead of lines as our interpolating functions. You should now be able to perform a linear interpolation on a set of data to obtain values between the data points. Copy the code in the link in the description below and enter this data into a list. Then use the linear interpolation function to answer the questions on the screen.